Good afternoon. My name is America Padilla. I'm researcher and consultant of the Technology Transfer Office del Centro de Investigación y de Estudios Avanzados, CIMBESTAD, a public center of research in Mexico. I'm going to present the work Competitive Intelligence Study of a Non-Viral Vector for Gene Therapy of Parkinson's Disease, CIMBESTAD PX1. Professor Daniel Martinez Fong is the scientific leader of this project. The agenda for the presentation includes a brief review of my institution, the portfolio of technology transfer, specific application of this technology, Simvestat PX1, in Parkinson's disease, the results of competitive landscape and market analysis, and commercialization strategy. The Center for Research and Advanced Studies, CIMBESTAD, is a national leader in scientific research, technology development, and the formation of highly educated professionals in Mexico. CIMBESTAD has 10 campuses across the country, each focusing on a particular research subject according to regional needs and industrial development. Simvestad has 680 researchers, 63 postgraduate programs, more than 3,400 students, that represents the 5% of the total postgraduate students at the national level. As previously said, I'm part of the Technology Transfer Office, the Agency for Knowledge Transfer and Commercialization, one of the 170 Technology Transfer Offices certified by the National Council of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Economy in Mexico. This agency has integrated a tech transfer portfolio that includes eight projects. A non-viral vector for gene therapy of Parkinson's this is a source of ionization at low temperature that allows the mass spectrometry analysis of biological samples in a non-destructive way, a molecular proof for viral diagnosis in plants, a blood-based diagnosis of trichomoniasis, a platform for the expression, production, and scaling up of recombinant protein, an uh, early stage diagnosis of cervical cancer and a synthetic derivative of amphotericin B. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease associated with severe motor and cognitive symptoms caused by the death of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra. Reduced expression of brain derived neurotrophic factor, the BDNF, is known to contribute to the death of dopaminergic neurons in Parkinson. And thus, replacement therapy with BDNF has been proposed as a potential way to prevent the progression of Parkinson. The overexpression of the gene that encodes BDNF has been shown to slow down and even reverse Parkinson in preclinical models using a single dose of Simvestat PX1 as a gene delivery system. One of the biggest challenges has been to design nanoparticles capable of targeting therapeutic genes to dopaminergic neurons of the brain. Researchers at Simvestat, led by Professor Daniel Martinez Fong, have now developed a synthetic nanoparticle that can deliver genes directly and specifically to dopaminergic neurons of the substantia nigra in the brain. The nanoparticle is a neurotensin polyplex consisting of compacted plasmid DNA encoding the gene for BDNF surrounded by tripeptides neurotensin, fosogenic peptide, and cardiophilic peptide, tyrosine, hydroxylase positive, Th+, dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra, 
The blue stain cells in the left panel are targeted by Simvastat PX1, the green stain cells in the middle panel, enabling highly specific BDNF replacement therapy in damaged neurons in subjects with Parkinson disease in the right panel. Concerning the intellectual property of this technology, Simvastat has two granted patents in Mexico, a PCT patent application at national phase in US and Europe, and a, we consider a technology readiness level 4, that means a proof of concept in a validated animal model. Going into the cleaning, Simvastat PX1 has shown great specificity in neuronal delivery. It's cost effective to synthesize and has an optimal biosafety profile, all of which make it an excellent alternative to viral vector for Parkinson's disease treatment. As a result of competitive analysis, in commercial pipeline we identify four competitors in preclinical phase, two viral vectors and naked DNA, non-specific and immunogenic, and five competitors in clinical phase, all of them viral vectors. We perform a patent search to identify potential com competing patents to this technology, the aim of the research was to gain an overview of patent fillings in same or similar fields and existing patent applications around the use of PX1 in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. The graphic in the left panel shows the number of patents and patent families found for search terms related with treatment of Parkinson's disease. The field is led by global companies with more than 600 patents. The graphic in the right panel shows the main institutions and initiatives that, that conduct clinical trials on Parkinson's disease gene therapy. We identify a company as a potential competitor. In particular, we were concerned that patents may be considered prior art for the PX1. We review patent application and identify three families that are related to PX1. These families describe using polypeptide transport vector conjugates that can transport therapeutic agent across the blood brain barrier and into cells in the brain. Transport vectors can include any agent including RNA, polynucleotide, anti-cancer therapeutics, small molecule drugs, polypeptide therapeutics, and hydrophobic agents. The claim section specifically mentions BDNF as a potential agent. The patents describe making polypeptide transport vectors and using them to treat cancer and neurodegenerative disease, specifically Parkinson. However, the filling dates for PX1 Mexican patents that protect the basic technology but uh, fail on 2001 proceed competitors filing dates. It is estimated that the global gene therapy market will reach 794 billion by 2017. The market for this new treatment is very large, volume in US alone at over 3 billion by 2018. Simvastat PX1 has a clear competitive advantage with respect to inventions in the stage of clinical trials, positioning itself as a viable alternative to the use of viral vector in Parkinson's disease. Now we have the competitive landscape, a region, country of the leading companies in gene therapy. 
we have uh, some specific regions in US, Europe, Japan, Pacific Asia, Latin America and this is the segmentation of these companies in Europe. With all these elements, we integrate a commercialization strategy that includes a non-exclusive license to an international licensee in US, Europe or Mexico with the experience and ability to complete its commercial development, the clinical phase and regulatory affairs. Three potential licenses, two in Europe and one in Mexico, and the creation of a spin-off from a Simba staff with all the postgraduate uh, students involved in the initiative, a new application of this innovative uh, nanoparticle. And now, as a conclusion of this work, uh, we applied the analysis tools for design, the commercialization strategy, and this include uh, technological and competitive intelligence, market research, the size, the segment, the trends, the drivers, and potential growth of this market. Uh, we are looking for a win-win partnerships uh, that allows us to put a new therapy on the market and that could help people living with Parkinson's disease and provide them with a better quality of life. At the same time, we would also like to establish a new and productive business that not only benefits the stakeholders, uh, but also generates resources to finance new scientific research to treat other uh, diseases. Finally, we want to thank, because the integration of the business dossier and the consolidation of our group of young uh, postgraduates of Simvestab uh, with this innovative vision in therapeutic application of this uh, particle was supported by the Sectorial Fund of Innovation, FINOVA, and uh, we also uh, want to thank to ICS Enterprise and Newton Fund uh, for supporting the intellectual property assessment and the Mexican Network uh, for Technology Transfer Offices, the Redo de Mexico, uh, for your kind support in this project. Finally, this is our website. And our and my personal email. If you have any question or if you are interested in one of our projects, do not hesitate in be in contact with me. Thank you so much.